Hey guys! Today I am absolutely super excited to show you a pottery technique that I discovered sort of by accident. So a while back I bought a proper like kiln. It was used, it was on Facebook Marketplace, it was super cheap. I figured I could fix it up for still cheaper than a new kiln would have been. Um, and I got it home and I knew buying it that I did not have a place to plug it into because I do not have a 240 outlet in my entire house. But I was kind of hoping that an electrician could sort of upgrade one of our outlets or add an extra upgraded outlet to allow for me to plug the kiln in and get it working. However, we've been having some major electrical issues in the house generally, and we finally had an electrician out and he said that he would not recommend adding a 240 outlet to the house at all. He says it's sort of overloaded, however, I have figured out a way to make teeny teeny tiny but functional Reiku pottery in a microwave, which is mind blowing to me. I accidentally figured this out because we have had a microwave kiln for like miniature glass fusing for a while and I don't think we've even made a video on it because it was kind of interesting but I kind of messed it up and a lot of work for kind of blah results. So I've had that sitting on my shelf for probably two years now and in the back of my head a while back I was like huh I wonder if I could do pottery in that and I googled it and apparently you can and you can. I did it. Like watch the video it's there. I made some itty bitty but functional teeny tiny Roku pottery and I'm so thrilled about it. So watch and enjoy and try it yourself because you don't need a $4,000 kiln. Just grab a microwave and this $50 product to make Raikou. So first things first in this absolutely thrilling process is making the actual pottery pieces that we will be firing later in the video. The rebuilding process video is linked below, but for now we are just throwing some pottery. We're just making itty bitty teeny pots because the size of my kiln is maybe four inches in diameter and maybe three inches tall. It's rather small. So I am just making the teeny tiniest pieces, which is honestly good practice anyway. I've got some friends to help me do it out here in the rain. It's a marvelous day to be throwing some pottery. I am using a Reiku mixture from my local powdery store and it has a significant amount of grog or texture. It's essentially little chunks of already finished clay or something. I'm not entirely sure honestly what it is, but it is kind of a coarseness in the clay. So it's not as sticky, it's not as smooth, but it shrinks less and it reacts better to heat shock, which is absolutely what we need when we're doing Reiku. We're subjecting it to massive shifts in temperature. We're getting it really hot really fast and then we're cooling it down crazy fast. So here is my little microwave kiln. I'm just putting the base in and I'm using a kiln paper just to protect the bottom so that the pottery doesn't stick. And then I'm going to pop my little guy in and the lid on and we're going to do it in about five minute segments. Within the first 20 seconds of this firing, I heard some little popping and now that I'm opening it up, I know why. This pot completely exploded in the kiln. Thankfully it, it st stayed inside the kiln and didn't get into my microwave at all, but it shattered into these itty bitty little pieces. And I believe this was because it was not thoroughly dry, even though I left it for almost a full week in rather warm Texas temperatures. I believe that the humidity got in the way of it thoroughly drying. And I believe I proved this hypothesis by putting all of the remaining pieces that I did not blow up into my dehydrator for about 12 hours at the maximum dehydrator temperature, which is actually rather low, it's 165 degrees. Fahrenheit and I dried out the remaining pieces for 12 plus hours and then we are trying this again. Again, five minute segments, double checking that things have not exploded in between and 
The length of time depends. The first ones that I did took longer, especially this very, very first one, because I think I was actually drying the inside of my kiln out. You can see all of the steam that's happening. This first one took about 30 minutes, so six five minute segments. However, the second, third, and fourth, the future ones, were closer to 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20. And I think that's because the kiln was already hot somewhat, and also because my microwave was dry, and also the shape and size of the piece also affected things. So what I have here is some whiskers and some feathers. So traditionally, feathers and horsehair are what is used in Reiku or horsehair pottery. It's the name of a process that you use within Reiku. I don't have horsehair on hand, but I do have cats that shed whiskers. So I was trying those. They're tiny and they're not actually very effective. And yes, these are sheds. I did not pull these off of my cats, but the feathers worked amazingly. You can tell this is a dyed feather. It's next to impossible to create an artificial feather that's convincing. So most feathers that you have around the house are actually chicken feathers. So that's what I have. I chopped up a cat toy and it worked perfectly. I tried a couple different things, but the feather was by far my favorite. This video here, briefly, is a little bit nasty, but I tried human hair, borrowed this from a hairbrush, and it worked a little gross and a little hard to control. The fineness of the hair makes it a little hard to see the, like, definition that a thicker hair like cat whisker or horse hair would provide. So again, overall, I definitely preferred the feathers, but I had a ton of fun trying, and I'm super thrilled with how these couple of final pieces turned out. I am super excited to do more of this sort of stuff in this microwave kiln, and also I am very interested in building a trash can Reiku for the backyard. Comment below if you're interested in seeing that. I'm hoping to do that sometime later this summer, so like, subscribe, definitely put the little bell on if you want to see the Reiku kiln, and comment, let me tell me what you think of all of this good stuff. Again, super thrilled about it, and see you next time. Bye!